Hey, what's up, creators? I am Zard, and today in this Gems of War video, we are going to take another look at the Deep Dell method. Now, if you're new to this Deep Dell method and have no clue what this is all about, I'm going to link my previous Deep Dell method video down below in the comments, and you could go and check that out. Today's video, this won't have any educational purposes at all. We're just going to have a little bit fun and see if I'm getting lucky with the verse gnomes. Let's get on to the action. We start from the silver necropolis, and I have all these uh, gnome treasure rooms over here ready. And as it is a world weekend, we have a very high chance to get a verse gnome in these deep dell gnome treasure rooms. Let's see if we get lucky. Yes, there's the first verse gnome. And we are going to just go and spam our troll and eat up our way to the victory. Another devourer, then Zulgot and Skullpokes to death. There. One piece of verse 4. And an angel! How lucky! Woo, pet food. I really need that. Thank you. And next we go to the werewolves. And uh, we have actually a total amount of 19 deep delves available at the time of recording this video. So plenty of delves to get lucky with the verse gnomes. Let's see if we get lucky now. Drum roll. And uh, yeah, baby, Cindy, of course. I really need that. One of the lesser verses I have right now. So how do we proceed from here? I think I have to take this. Oh, actually, I don't have to. I have a hero up top with barrier. So I'm just going to take red gems to get married up. Then we are just going to spam the board and get this job done with Tesla. First cast over there. Spam a little bit more. Tesla and one more cast needed. And this should be a match there. Woohoo! Verse 2, I love that. And moving on to the Amanet 3 sucks. What? Amanet 3? Am yeah. Amanet Thrax. Yep, that went well. Amanet Thrax. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we have a treasure room over here ready. And uh, let's hop into the action. Um, Wow, I have a little bit different team over here, it seems. Um... Merlit and... Woo! Yeah, baby! Another verse 2. Okay, so we have Iron God up top. And we have a Skull Generator over here. Keeper of Souls. Because we can't use Jewel God over here. It seems I have decided to use this kind of approach. Transform all gems of a chosen color to skulls. As long as we get one Devour in. I think this is going to work just fine. We want to really Devour that Cindy over there. Yum, 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 yum. Then we could check the Skulls. I don't see any extra turns, really. But if we take that, does that change the situation? Yes, it does. We are converting brown to skulls. Now we are spamming more the board. That was actually a mistake. You really want to have two devourers with... Oh, crap. And that is impervious. Oh, well. I'm getting excited over here and actually forget how to play this game. But that's fine. We are going to get this job done one way or another. We want to devour the Helger over there. And now we are converting maybe purples or maybe reds or... I think we're just going to go with purples. That's one. That's two. Well, let's see what happens. Not that much yet, but this gets the job done. Wow. Anyway, another verse two. And I'm getting lucky today, it seems. Right, moving on to the mirror holes. Again, I have the treasure room ready over here, and we are heading up to the fight with Bork, Arringat, and Draski with Wind of Stars, it seems. With Shaman class, yeah. Root Trap, but it doesn't help here in the treasure rooms, because the top enemy is always impervious. This, uh, what is called, Void Portal, yeah, is impervious, so the Root Trap won't help against that. And actually, as we get a... Um, Ingot Gnome, what is this? Mecha Gnome, I'm co just going to quit this fight. I really don't need those. That's waste of my time. A little bit glory, that's fine for me. But let's check if we get a little bit more lucky with the Warren's Dell. 
Again, I got the treasure room re ready over here, and I'm using Oringat, Merlit, Wand of Stars, and Jaraski. Again, let's try. Come on, game. Another verse 2 would be really, really nice. Bah. Well, I take that. A verse name is, is a verse gnome. Right. Uh, we take that to get Merlit going. Now, let's see, let's see. What do we do? Greens. There. And now we proceed with the devourer. I want to devour you so that I get a little bit of attack. Another devourer. I suppose I could just go and eat that so it doesn't fly away or whatever it's, it is called. Fleeing away. <laughs> right. Eat and then a kill shot with Taraski over there. Nice. And next in line we have a primal rift. We have a team of... Uh, what? Interesting team. <laughs> I think I have been using some kind of testing for this. Shield of Urshkaya up top. Troll, Daraski and Jewel God. I think I'm using Shield of Urshkaya over here to get some kind of um, protection to my hero. So I can maybe have some kind of skull resistance going on. Um, pretty weird team sit up. <laughs> Even it's my own team, but hey, let's see if it gets the job done Really we just want to get troll going and do some kill blows with our and um, uh, our uh, Boss killers what the, what these are bosses. Yeah anyway uh, through s trolls s Spam over there. I think we could just kill them. I uh, know over there that's one of the gnomes that I really don't need. I have plenty of those. Uh, Freddy, Fred Whittler or whatever it is called. Uh, and we're going to spam troll one more time. One cost with Charaski and then get rid of the last enemy with Zul God. Yeah, it, it works fine, I suppose. And moving on to the Hall of Guardians. I think this is one of the Iron God teams here. Um, yes, Reflector of Good, Up Top, Angry Mob, Iron God, and Draski for the final kill, kill blow. Let's see if we get another Verus Gnome over here. Getting excited? Ah, well, at least that Gnome can drop something useful. Let's take that extra turn. We can take the Brown over there. And now our Angry Mob is going. Now we can proceed with the Devour. And as our Iron Guard isn't in the top position, we really can eat any one over here that can be eaten, that is. Again, this wood parcel is impervious, cannot be devoured, and Horde Mimic is also impervious. So we eat you, then we spam the board. Actually, our Tarski is going, so let's do a kill blow over there. And uh, if we just match this, the enemy is going to be cursed, and we can actually eat it with our Iron Guard. Because of the curse gem match there. Uh, we get a little bit of gold. That's fine, I guess. Head on to the first fire keep. Let's see what kind of team I'm using over here. It seems it is a Tesla team. As a Seville, a Borg, and double Tesla with Sunspear class. This hopefully gets the job done. Again, uh, Sunspear has the root trap, but the enemy is impervious up top, so it won't help us at all. But let's take those extra turns and get our Borky going, and we can that get the job done with Tesla costs. Cost over there, and do another one, then we cost Borgy to get rid of the last enemy. With final Tesla blow there. Oh, I rem forget to check what the gnome was. It, it, I think it was a soul gnome, yes. Uh, uh, moving on to the Fangmore. I have no clue what kind of team I have over here. It must be... Oh, right, yeah. We can use Arangat, Merlit, Yoi, and Zulgot. One of my favorite teams here in the Delves, for sure. As long as your Arangat can uh, survive some of the skull pokes. Because the enemy, again, is impervious. Again, a Mecha Gnome. I'm just going to quit this. No time to uh, sped over here. Thank you. Towards the dark pits, maybe we get a little bit lucky over here again. Um, 
we are using a team of uh, Arrogant Merlet, Essence of Hill, and Tereski. Right. So hopefully we get a another verse 2. That would be really great. Mm, but we get S no. So no. Again, I think I'm just going to quit this one. But I can't get unlucky three times in a row. Old thing I please give me something useful. Thank you. We are using Arrogant team with still got. Nice colors in this delve. Let's see if we get lucky. Drum roll. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, I suppose I just going to take that one out. Maybe sometimes get jump gems or gold or whatever really. But uh, it could be something useful. Gotta keep some hopes up, you know. Okay. So much of the hope, but there, nice cascades. Done. What we get from the gnome? <coughs> <laughs> Hundred souls. Oh, nice. So did our luck turn for good? Let's check sunken fleet. Maybe we get lucky over here. We're using probably a yeah, Arangat and Zulgot team with Merlit. Come on now, game. I need those verse twos. One more. Ah, well, that's okay. I think that's my second. Uh, most needed verse gnome over there. So we spam the board, we eat the troops. And get done with this fight. Nope. Uh, there? Yeah, nice. And towards the stone swing area we go. Maybe we get verse 2 over here. What's the team? Iron God, Angry Mob, Essence of Evil, and Dereski should get the job done. As long as your Iron God survives. And even if it doesn't, we can use Essence of Evil to shut down the enemies and kill the enemies with Dereski. Kill blows. Angry Mob is ready to rock. We spam the board. We eat what we can. I think I want to start from you. And ugh, it seems we are fighting against a Mecha Gnome. That's annoying. Mecha Chrome, by the way, is impervious too, so it cannot be eaten. But it can be a little shot with Taraski. Let's hop on to the latest Deep Dell faction, the Deep Hive. Maybe we get lucky over here. Who knows? We can use Aringat Merlith and Taraski, and it seems I'm using one of stars this time. Uh Mm, at least the worst gnome, but I really, 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 really don't need that one. I have plenty of those. Gotta get Merit going. And devour with Iron Gut. Let's do another one, and then a kill blow there. And spam the board one more time, and maybe get rid of that horde mimic over there. There. Lyrasa's lair. Let's check. Maybe we get verse 2 over here. Or maybe I just used all my luck in the uh, very first battles. Come on, game. One more time. Ugh. A curse gnome. Mm, I suppose it's better than a snow gnome. Towards the City of Thieves, maybe we get lucky over here. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's the whole point of this. Getting lucky, you know. Okay, Bass. I, I, that's okay, really. But uh, I really want that first two. Three more left. Let's check Wild Court. Maybe we get lucky over here. We're using a Tesla team. With Cordian Crown and Merlith. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, ready. Oh, no. To the Golden Shield Sorrow. Now, come on, bring me something useful. We're using Iron God Mob and Zoo God with EOE. Come on, come on, come on. Cindy, show up. Uh, bummer. And one more to go, Crypt Keepers. Now, please give me something useful. I think we got a little bit lucky, but 
to be fair, the luck could be a little bit better. I feel like that. Dragonite gnome. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Mm, we're using the roll and Tesla, but there's no purples over there. I suppose we are just going to take uh, this and get red gems there as well. Now the roll is going. We gotta make sure that the enemy doesn't run away. Um, I think a Guardian Crone has the peaceful upgrade, so we can silence the Dragonite Gnome. Let's do that. A little bit of protection that the Buster doesn't run away. Because that's a thing, you know. One more Tesla cast, and this is a match. There. Alright, hey. That kind of video for this. Have a great weekend, my friend. Hope you are lucky with your deep elf runs, or in general with the gnome spawns. And uh, the usual stuff comment, like, subscribe. Has this off. Peace out.